everybody, Dr. Jamie here, and you are about to listen to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I hope you enjoy the tips and advice in this segment. Hey everyone, Dr. Jamie here with the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience, and today I am sitting here with Ellie Hirsch, parenting expert with Mommy Masters, mommymasters.com, and we are going to kind of give you a recap of the 60-minute Dr. Jamie episode we just did on all things parenting, and I am talking about all things parenting, moms, dads, co-parenting, the holidays, you name it, we talked about it, and yes, when should you give your child a cell phone? We chatted about this. Ellie, welcome to the Dr. Jamie show. Thank you. Thanks okay. for having me. Yeah, so the first thing we talked about on the show was a mompreneur. What is that? A mompreneur is someone who uh, is a stay-at-home mom or maybe uh, works part-time, and then she has her own business, her own dreams that she's fulfilling. Okay, and what are some of the common problems that you see moms face in the business world right now? Being taken seriously, a lot of people think that mompreneurs are bored moms that are looking to feel important or do something to fill their day. So that's really tough to hear. Um, That's definitely an ouch statement. Um, But I think it's to educate people is the best way to uh, conquer that and handle those comments. Um, Because it's it's not about uh, feeling important, it's about living your dream. And if people don't get it, educate them. Don't get mad about Mm -hmm. it. And definitely don't internalize those statements um, and let it deter you from uh, a job you want to start, a hobby you want to go for, any passion you have in life. There will be haters along your whole journey um, and just kind of walk away from those. Um, I want to make sure that dads feel the love. And in the segment, you did such a great job. We took a whole, you know, chunk of time to talk about dads. Um, It takes two, uh, oftentimes right now in this life, Uh, to run a household and dads need a little bit more credit here and there for some of these things that they do. What are some of the issues that you see fathers face in the home and do you have any tips that you can share for them with them? I think it really comes down to respect. As moms, we want help. We want our uh, spouses to pitch in, but then when they do, we criticize. And so if you criticize someone over and over again, they're just going to say, you know what? Do it yourself. So I think you have to be a little more patient and it really comes down to respect and through a dad's perspective, the uh, series on mommymasters.com where dads uh, write articles about any perspective of parenting, whatever it has to do with, and and it's teaching women that their opinion and their way is, is important too and it's not always about our way. So it's just, you know, being together and being respectful of one another. Okay, excellent. Very good. Um, and I, you know, I really liked in the Dr. Jamie show when you talked about a dad's perspective and something that you learned um, was that when it comes to the holidays like Mother's Day, we don't have to sit there and give them a slew of reasons why we should be honored or celebrated that day, that they already know that and they already think that. So, um, you know, d- dads are, are pretty cognizant of what we're doing and they're pretty darn proud of us, it sounds like. Yeah, you don't have to pitch your, your husband, your spouse and oh I deserve this they know how hard you work and you know you know how hard they work and I think it's just taking that minute that second just to say thanks for what you do all day and not arguing about who's more tired okay yeah absolutely and you guys got to check out the Dr. Jamie full segment because we talked about that and Ellie and I even faced that almost like a competition in the home about Mm -hmm. who's more tired or who's done more today Um, and it's not a competition we're equal on our own levels uh, and we really go into detail so check that out okay so I want to talk about mom dads and kids now so you've got new moms I want you to kind of give some tips to the new moms and new dads out there maybe baby's about to come or baby just came a couple days ago uh, and we're new at this what is some of your biggest tips for those new parents the first tip is definitely just breathing and just realizing that you're about to go into um, absolute unknown territory and lack of sleep and craziness and lots of visitors and family make sure that you and your spouse are on the same page make sure that you guys are supporting each other you're going through all these hormones maybe dad's nervous he has no idea what he's doing you have no idea what you're doing um you know just make sure your expectations are realistic kids cry they poop all over themselves they don't want to breastfeed so just don't think everything's going to go perfectly because it's not Mm -hmm. and then we also talked about moms and dads new moms and dads out there you can walk away from your child put them in their crib where they're safe and you can close the door when they're screaming and you can walk out you've got the monitor you can watch them they're okay but it's okay to walk away when you can't take it anymore that's actually the safest thing and the healthiest thing that you can do Um, so don't feel guilty about that yes Um, okay so what are some insights you can share with us about the mom and dad who are now welcoming baby number two so 
obviously there's a transition now going on in the home. There's so many things you can do to prepare your child for a sibling. However, when the day actually comes, you really don't know how they're going to react. So just pay attention to them in terms of, you know, their emotions and what they're doing. Are they wetting their bed all of a sudden and they've been potty trained for two years? Be super patient. Don't get angry with them and use them to be your helper. Show them how important they really are. Maybe they're in charge of getting you the bottle or picking up the pacifiers every time it drops out of the mouth. And of course, one-on-one -on -one time, make the time. Okay, excellent. So get your kid involved. Don't forget the one-on-one -on -one time um, is the most important. And being patient and not angry. So if they regress in certain areas, just be patient with them. Don't yell at them. Give them time. You're in transition. It's not fair to you not let them be in transition too. Um, okay, so the danger zone. This is teenagers. Any big tips that you can give to parents who are raising teenagers? Yeah, I mean, it's new to them, it's new to you. Again, be patient with every stage of parenting. Give them space, but still stay on top of them. You know, let them know you're there if they need you. Make sure you're watching out what they're doing on social media. Um, be involved with what's going on with friends, but give them space. They need it, they deserve it, just like you do. Okay, um, and now um, I've just picked out two of the questions, like some of the common problems that parents um, go through with kids, uh, you know, during, during childhood. And one that we talked about uh, during the Dr. Jamie show is finicky eaters. Is there any hope for the parents that have finicky eater children? Yes. Explore together as a family. Try new foods. Go shopping together for new foods. Pick out foods based on colors. And, you know, you can't just give your kids chicken fingers and expect them to want something else because that's all they know. So maybe you go on an adventure with them and say, you know what, you don't have to love it or ever eat it again, but at least try it. Okay. Okay. Um, and I had talked about on the show too, giving like what we do in our house to get our kids to eat new foods is like the point system. So if you try a new food, you get one point. If you like the food, you get two points. Um, so that kind of opens up their palate to at least trying new things. Kids work off rewards and incentives. It doesn't always have to be, it's not a hundred dollar bill they're getting. Right. They're getting a point. It's worth 50 cents at the dollar store. Um, but that helps me uh, make dinner easier. And mm -hmm. to me, 50 cents is worth making my dinner easier easier. Yes. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. Last question here. Is there a certain age to give a child a cell phone? No, there's no certain age because every child develops differently, matures differently. Do what works for your family, but make sure when you give them that cell phone that you lay down the law and you stick with it. You're only allowed to use your phone here. You're not allowed to call or text or social media and stick with it because they can take advantage. And as we all know, it's a scary world out there. So just make sure you know what you're giving your child. Excellent tip. So there's no age. Give it when you feel you're ready as a parent to do that, but make sure you set expectations with it and you stick to those expectations. Ellie, thank you so much for joining us on the Dr. Thank Jamie you. Show. Yes. Um, can you tell everyone where we can find more about you, where we can follow you, where we can like you, where we can find all of your awesome informational information? Sure. Go to mommymasters.com for unique tips tricks and tools, including my award-winning children's CD. You can find me on social media, head over to Instagram at the mommy master for realistic videos, whether I'm crying or laughing and unique tips there as well as Facebook and Twitter. And I can't wait to see you there. Awesome. Excellent. Everyone, you are listening to the Dr. Jamie show audio experience with Ellie Hirsch, mommy masters, mommymasters.com. Do me a favor, go to YouTube, go to iTunes, go to Google play, subscribe to the Dr. Jamie show. Every like, every follow helps me to to bring on amazing guests time and time again and comment below with your biggest takeaway from this particular episode. Thank you so much for listening to the Dr. Jamie Show audio experience. I really hope that you enjoyed the tips and advice given on today's segment. Do me a favor and go to iTunes and my YouTube and please subscribe to that channel. Every subscribe, every like, every follow helps the Dr. Jamie Show grow so that we can bring you the best guest and the best content possible. And of course, as always, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave that as well. Talk to you soon.